Hey, it's Annette the Lobster Lady, and I want to thank you for watching our channel. Make sure you hit subscribe and a thumbs up. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Annette the Lobster Lady's YouTube. I've spent a lot of time doing this, and I'm going to share it with you. We're going to finish a charcuterie board. As you can tell, I'm trying to show you where the pieces are needed, but I'm sanding it first with a 220 grit, and it's one of those sponge sanders, and especially getting in the deep dimpled areas where we have circled off there. Every once in a while, a little dim dimple, and this is what it really looks like. And I am cleaning the heck out of it with alcohol. I don't want to have to do this one more time. But I'm making one mistake. I'm cleaning and I don't have my gloves on. Holy cow, I gotta get those gloves on. I got my crystal resin. And I'm measuring it in that bowl. There are ounces marked. And so I do, I think I did seven ounces of each. And I'm showing you I'm doing the other bottle because I had made that mistake before and I'm just going up seven ounces higher and that's an easy way to do it as long as you have the markings on your bowl and it takes a little practice I think that's what it looks like at the beginning now I never stir this fast but we're quickening it up so you can see the whole thing See how cloudy it is? That's what I'm trying to show you. But most of all, when you're watching it, there you go. Did you see those three swoops? That's what I do all through my mixing. And it's still not quite done because it is cloudy. And I don't mean cloudy with air bubbles. It's cloudy with kind of slimy looking stuff. But here we go. There we go, we're getting it clear now. It's nice and clear. I'm showing you I got two sets of gloves on. Now it's beautiful, it's perfect. And we're gonna pour. We're gonna make this the prettiest charcuterie board that you can find. And once again, cleaning up. <laughs> I find that to be very important when I'm doing my next extra clear coats. Here we go, right down the middle. That's where I like to do it. And we're working again. As some of the Massey boys say, it's tilting time. And I'm just using this tilting method because it's easier on the shells and the glass and I have all kinds of stuff on this piece. And now I'm gonna level it out, watch. I'm gonna get it all in there. And then I take that whole thing and scoop it up to kind of give it a level. Because we're not supposed to be more than an eighth of an inch thick. And I think to be, I am seem to be a little heavy handed, so I wanted to make sure. Spreading it with my fingers, I always do that. I get the best coverage when I do it with my hand. Can't stand my sticky gloves, gotta get them off. And get our air bubbles out. And I could tell right at this point, it was gonna be a good pour. You can see it. Well, here we are. We've got our finished product and I am very happy about it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's see if I can come back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. If you noticed, I went ahead and put my rocks here. And then I did trim it with, um, <laughs> I forgot what it is, rope. Now, I do need to trim this little piece off to get it perfect. But after we went ahead and trimmed it, and I really think the trim added a lot to it. But how we, or actually Jorge did, he just wanted to hold, uh, put a hook on here. 
a sawtooth hook. I don't think it's called a hook. But, um, I mean, that way he can really hook it up on the wall. Because it has some weight to it. But, I love this key. It's what really got me started on being a mixed media artist. We are having a great time doing these videos for you. Please, please, please hit subscribe and hit that bell for all.